Hey, I just got a minute to record this video. Somebody asked me to review fine law. And I'm going to share the good, the bad, and the ugly really fast. Number one, fine law is part of Thomson Reuters. It's a huge company, and there is something really good about them as a marketing company. And then there are some things I heard from our clients that are really bad about them. They're really good about them. They own a couple of legal directories, like fine law and super lawyers. Those directories get millions and millions and millions of people coming to them looking for lawyers every single month. I just looked at the stats really quick. Like, find law website in itself gets over three and a half search visitors per month. It's a ton of traffic. People are coming to that website looking for lawyers. Super lawyers, the same thing. If I owned a law firm, I would definitely want to be listed in those directories and I would definitely test out advertising on those directories. Let me explain what I mean. I would definitely have a sponsored listing in both of those directories under all of the practice areas that I practice in and I would want to rank as highly as possible there because people are looking for lawyers in those directories and just like the case with Google, advertising comes up on top. It's really important to show up on top there and have plenty of reviews and have a nice website because invariably people will go from those listings to your website and will check you out and they will go to Google reviews and will check you out. So to have a successful, successful advertising there, first, you have to have sponsored listing. Second, you have to have plenty of reviews on those directories like fine law. Third, you have to have a high performance website that's at least of competitive grade, has to look and be as good as the direct competitors' websites, and user experience has to be at least as good as your direct competitors. And you have to have plenty of reviews on Google. Then, once you have all of those things and you have that listing on Find Law, chances are you're going to start getting quite a few visitors to the website and converting some of them into leads. The most important thing that happens here is for you to measure the number of leads that you're getting and an average cost per lead. And compared to other channels, are you getting enough leads for the money that you're investing? And how does that cost per lead compare to other channels? If it's in line with other channels, cheaper or a little more expensive, continue pouring money into that directory, fine law and super lawyers, because this is where you're investing money to make it more money. If it's not cost effective, then scrap it. Now, this is the good, the directory, the bad. I was never a client of Fine Law or Super Lawyers of, or of Thomson Reuters. But we have clients who came from there and they told us some bad things like their websites suck. The way they manage those websites is horrible. Getting anything done takes a lot of effort. That's the ugly side of it. So in summary, I would definitely test out the directory I would not use them for marketing services and websites because our clients who came there, who came to us from Fine Law claimed that they're really bad. If you want to give it a shot, check them out. Let me know how it goes. Just send me an email, sasha at growlawfirm.com. Thanks.